Hi, my name is Kara Mezik. I'm a branch assistant for the Wicomica Public Libraries at the Center Branch. Today, we're going to be doing a canvas paint activity called Earth and Sky. This is part of our kids' craft program at Center Branch. If you happen to pick up one of our taking makes for this activity, you'll want to have that ready now. If you don't have a kit, all supplies can be found at your local Walmart. So, for this activity, you're going to need a canvas, just a plain blank canvas. We have some white and some blue and some green temper paint. You'll need some tape. We have some plastic wrap. And, which is optional, you want to have some Q-tips. So to begin, we're going to first pull some plastic wrap, and it has to be longer than the length of your canvas. You should have an extra inch that way we can fold this over. And I'm just going to tape down the one corner for now. So now we're going to leave our plastic wrap open, and you're going to start using the paint by putting the blue drops on the top. Just some very small drops, we don't need very much. We're going to be spreading this around. We'll add some white, not on every blue drop, maybe one or two. I think I'm actually going to add one extra blue drop right in the middle. Next we're going to add the green for our grass space. It'll be better to start closer to the middle of your canvas when you're adding the green because we want to be able to make sure that the green and the blue fade into each other properly. We're going to add in the white one more time. Again, not with every green drop, just a few. Okay, very carefully, you may want to have an adult help you with this. We're going to pull the plastic wrap over. Just let that sit for a moment. Get your tape ready. We're just going to tape the plastic wrap underneath. Be sure we get all of the corners down. Also be sure that you don't pull the plastic wrap too tight while you're taping it. We want to be able to spread it.
Okay, so you should have your canvas looking like it has plenty of spots on it. So now we'll begin blending. So I'm just going to very carefully spread the paint across. So the more that you massage the plastic wrap and the paint together, it should start to look a little bit like tie-dye as we're making our sky and our clouds. As I'm moving down, I'm going to start doing a downward motion with my fingers and start making the grass and blending that together. Your grass blending should begin to look like this. With the plastic wrap on, you'll want to allow this to dry for four to six hours, depending on how much paint you apply to your canvas. So, for a finished product, once your paint has dried, you will have a complete dry canvas with your earth and sky together. And if you choose, you can add flowers by using Q-tips. So I'm going to pull out four, maybe five Q-tips. You can take the cap of your white paint pull the Q-tips together Just gently dip the Q-tips in. Make sure they're in a square. And you can add flowers. And this will complete your earth and your sky canvas paint. Thank you so much for joining us and being a part of the Wicomica Public Libraries for our kids craft. We will see you next time.